Okay, let's go back to the phones. We have uh, Jack in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Great to have you, sir. Welcome to the EIB Network. Hi. Hello, Rush. Yes, I predict that if Donald Trump continues with this gun-grabbing talk, he will become a one-term president, just like George H.W. Bush with his no-new taxes. You are not happy with the president's comment, let's go grab the guns first and then do due process later. That's what has you alarmed? Right. It's a New York liberal coming out in him. I mean, he can't defend the Second Amendment if he's talking like that. You know, when, when Jeff Flake makes more sense on guns than Donald Trump, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Um, when he when he can sit up there next to Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, Diane Feinstein, and come to agreement with her. He's it's his- not that he came to an agreement. He asked her if if she would include something he wants in her bill. Yeah, he's talking about banning the assault weapons again. I mean, uh, he's about to cross the line in the sand, and he doesn't really have to do anything. I mean, just well, this talk I, is enough. I look. I I have to. I think so too. I think if if look, Trump is a is a day to day proposition in in many ways, but this to me was unnecessarily tampering with the glue that keeps his supporters attached to him. You know, Donald Trump was elected primarily. If you want to talk about the issues that have got to be elected, immigration, enforcing uh, immigration law, building a wall, making sure that illegals do not get in and finding a way to deal with the ones here. And not, not you can't say that gun control, Second Amendment was a specific issue, but the concept of Trump as an outsider defending the people of this country against the encroachment on their liberties and freedoms was a paramount reason he was elected. He was an outsider. He was going to stand up to the establishment. And you and I both know what the establishment's desire in the Second Amendment is, is to get rid of it. And the American left, the Democrat Party, wants to confiscate all the guns that are in the country. Well, that's right. But if he wants to lose Pennsylvania, lose Michigan, lose a couple states in the South, then he just needs to keep going on with this talk or whatever actions he decides to take um, we there's a look there, his, there's a more his mouth off we know that there's a more immediate concern than that though and that's the elections in november the midterms you know as right. well as i do that if trump if, if trump somehow damages this bond that he has created with people you, you know what that's going to do to their energy level and what it's going to do to their uh desire to stay involved they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna end up being depressed and feel sold out you know what 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 is gonna inspire them to show up and vote in november in the midterms if the democrats win the house uh in november then trump's gonna get impeached yeah well he can he can cozy up the democrats and grab all the guns he wants he's not gonna get any liberal votes all he's gonna do is alienate his base that's very true. The Democrats are going to impeach him no matter how much of their agenda he advances or agrees with. Now, surely he knows that. Surely there are people in his immediate orb who can tell him that. But as of yet, again, we don't, we don't really know uh, what's going on. There's all kinds of schools that thought about Trump, that he's a day or two ahead of everybody he's playing chess a bunch of moves ahead of everybody. Recent history, if we use uh, intelligence guided by uh, experience, he pulled the same kind of maneuver on immigration and pulled the rug out from Democrats after exposing them on this. But this was a little bit different uh, in that the Democrats' position didn't need to be exposed. Everybody knows what they want. Everybody knows. Well, maybe they don't. That's that's a item that needs further spreading. The the real objective of the modern-day Democrat Party and all of their constituent groups is to confiscate every gun out there. That's their wish list. That's their giant dream. That's the bucket list. Whatever you want to, however you want to characterize it, their objective is the total confiscation of all guns 
being held in private hands. That's what their objective is. And they don't hate the NRA. They hate you. They despise you. You stand in their way. Not you, Jack, and Blue Ray. I'm talking about all of us. They despise us. They, they, they have a visceral hatred for those who oppose them and stand in their way. It's just easier for them to say they hate a group and an organization rather than to be upfront about what they really despise and hate, which is all of us.